Welcome back. In this video, we will see how to set up your machine for development on Google Cloud. As I mentioned in the previous video, my billing account was suspended because it was pending the verification. But my account was verified in 20 to 30 minutes. So now I'm here in my console and I can check that my billing is on. I can go to the manage billing account and you will see that it's active. Right. So that means I can start using my account. So first thing that I need to do is that I need to install G cloud command line for Windows or Mac or Linux, whichever system you're work you're running on. You go here and you download the installer. Either you can follow the PowerShell scripts given here, or you can do one thing. You can say G Cloud command line windows offline installer. You go here, you can download the zip file and you know, follow the instruction. To install. Once it is installed, you should be able to use the G Cloud command on your command prompt. Now it is set up. The next step is to authenticate it with our account, which we have just created. So what we'll do, I clear up the console, I'll say G Cloud or login. And this will give you a URL. Copy that URL. Select the Gmail account you want to authenticate it with. Hit allow. And it says it is now authenticated. Voila. You can see. However, there is one thing that you need to notice. If you have your G Cloud previously set up with some other project, you will see the older configuration still there as you can see this is my older project so what i'll do is that i'll go to my console i'll copy the project id i'll come here and it tells me here that how to change the project id what i'll do is that i'll set the project id to my newer project id and you will see that it is set up so now your G Cloud command line utility is set up to interact with your Google account or you, rather your GCP account. What you can do is you can see that which service accounts are in use. So currently, so I have so many accounts previously linked to this G Cloud command line installation. But as you can see, currently it is using this account. So there you have it. That's how you will set up your own machine to interact with the Google Cloud. Uh, so I'll see you in the next video where we will see how to create our first data prop cluster and run some jobs in there. Bye bye.